ahead, uh, Abdul, log into your help this machine. This is the same password that you were using. So let me know when you are on that machine right now. Yeah, I'm logged in. Do you want me to share my screen or no? Uh, I think it would be better for you to share your screen, I guess, maybe, because I think if I, I thought maybe I'll, I'll just do my screen, but I think it's better to just share your screen. I'm going to give you permissions here. I'm going to stop sharing my screen, guy, and there you go. And where is the permission? There you go. And go ahead. You have the, you have the, you can do that right now. So guys, can you see his screen? Um, we see two screens, Discord yeah, and- Yeah, one is Discord, so I think he's fixing that right now. So go ahead, um, Abdul, and fix that for us. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so now go ahead and log in to your help this machine and um, we want to first test something. Can you find Stacy? First of all, Stacy is already added. That's what I told you, right? In this company, can you find Stacy for us? And when we're talking about Stacy was added, what am I talking about over here? Added to what? You're mute. You're on mute, Abdul. They're still on mute. Are they? Okay. It's good now. Okay. So we were talking about Active Directory. Active Directory. Perfect. Good job. So go ahead and uh, first of all, find Stacy for us. Because this is a very common skill. When you join a company, um, you, will be, you will be asked to do this for that user or reset a password for that user or add that person to a group or, you know, something like that. Or maybe change your last name because they just got married, you know, or something like that. So you you gotta you gotta understand all that stuff. And you're using the fast version of this, right? This desktop, right, Abdul? I believe I believe the so. settings, the settings are set to fast. Yeah, make it make it the uh, ninety percent so we can see your screen pretty nice quality. And on the left side, you can actually toggle the left side on the top that you see on the on the right side. Yeah, toggle that, and there you go. And you okay. can even make it more bigger, by the way. If you want to make the screen a little bit more bigger, yeah, just click on that and, and this will become even, uh, the, I think you one more click, one more. There you go. Hey I think, guys, is, is it too big? Anyone who's about to join the Zoom, please mute yourselves when you come in. I can't hear you clearly, Haifa. I said anyone who comes into the Zoom, please mute yourselves as soon as you come in. Mute yourself? I, I can't hear you. Well. You can't some, hear me? For some no, no. I, I hear her. It's just that she said that whoever comes in, mute yourselves when you join the Zoom. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I think for some reason, it's uh, her voice is becoming different for me. Okay. All right, guys. So, uh, first of all, show us how would you find Stacy? Can, can so, we make the size a little smaller? Because I don't see yeah, the start okay. menu. Okay, go ahead and make it smaller. A little bit is smaller. It, is this better? Okay. Is this better, Kev? That looks better. Okay. So, right. so I think All I right. made a mistake. Oh, wait. All right. never mind. Yeah, good job. So let's yeah. see if you can find Stacy for us. Okay, what's the second method? Second method could be because uh, you could have one thousand people and you're not going to be scrolling down, right? Mm -hmm. So you would right-click users, you would uh -huh. click find, and usually you would search the entire directory and you would put the name. So in this case, since it's Stacy, Stacy, find now, and there's right, Stacy. Okay. So what if I say that there is a computer available? Um, her computer name is Staff One W Ten. How would you find that computer? This computer. I would go through, uh, I, I look under computers. Okay, it's there, but what yeah, if there are 5,000 computers there? So again, we'll use the uh, entire directory and- Go ahead and find it. 
No, that's that's not. So what's it. going on over here? Hmm. Hmm. Since. Let's see, there we go. So you need to uh, change the scope of the search. Common thing, common thing. Very basic thing, but it's something that it it makes people a little, you know, like, why? Why am I not getting this? Just, just attention right there. There you go. It's right there, right? Yeah. So, okay, that's good. You found it right there. So perfect. Good job. So two things in Active Directory. You did it. No problem. Now we have this thing. Stacy's added over. So Stacy is a part of let's say 50 groups and i have a, a job for you you need to you need to add 100 people and you need to give those 100 people the same groups that stacy had what option do you have to make it easier for yourself and how would you do it by the way how would you add a normal user by the way first just you don't have to add a whole user right now but show me how would you add a normal user like it's just a single user how would you do that just a single uh, user guys don't give him answer right now once he once he fail then give him an answer yeah i don't see the uh chat right now either yeah, yeah you guys can help him definitely but let him fail let, let him struggle a little bit right because that's where most of other people are going to learn when they kind of like look around right yeah oh yeah. uh-huh I just want to open up the chat. Look, look at your options. Attention to detail. Look what you see on in that box. Look at it carefully. When you add a user, where do you add a user? Do you add it from the search, or do you get you gotta get out from here? You gotta do something. So I would add it. I would get out of the search, and I would go to the user profile. And usually, there's something called members of, and I would add the user to that group. No, listen to me again. Mm -hmm. How would you add a normal user? Forget about the group right now. Let's take that away from. How would you add a normal user in Active Directory? Let's just make it simple first. Well, just a normal user. There's usually a plus icon. Okay. Right What's here. the other way? That's one way. The other way oops, would be to right click and new. Okay. User. Perfect. And another one would be command, but nobody expected level one to know PowerShell, right? Um, or uh, CMD command. That's something that nobody expected. So if you're gonna add, let's say you're not gonna add, you already know how to do that. So if we go back to our example now, we have 100 members that are given to, uh, sorry, 100 groups are like a part of this profile, Stacy. And I give you 100 more accounts. And you gotta do, let's say I say, okay, you can do scripting, forget about that. I want you to just add one user and assign all of those 100 groups automatically. How would you do that? Because imagine, think about yourself, think about this scenario. If you have to add Stacy, uh, Stacy 2, then you have to add and go back to her profile and add 100 groups one by one, one by one, one by one. And then you got 100 more people that are staying in the list. So I'm, not, I'm making it easier for you. Let's make, forget about the 99 people. Let's only concentrate on a, one more user. But you got 100 groups to assign or 50 groups to assign to that profile. So what you should do to approach it, first of all, if you don't know about this, where do you find settings? Think about it. Just logically, just think of in, in a sense that, okay, where do I go to reset passwords? Where do I go to the section where I change the username, uh, rename the username? Or where, do I do, where do I go to unlock a user? So do you think that there's going to be an option that will help you? Yes, definitely. That's what Active Directory is for. Okay, so go go to users and give it a try. And show us how would you find that option. So in this case, I would go to Stacy's user profile. Okay, now hold on mm -hmm. and focus. My question to you is that Stacy have fifty groups assigned to this profile. You have to add a new user, and you want to make sure that all fifty groups automatically get assigned to that new user. So which option would you pick from? Okay, so I would copy Stacy. Copy Stacy, right? Yeah. Perfect. That's the answer. Okay? Because that's a very common thing. You have people from single departments, accounting, finance, IT, sales. You're not going to be doing all these groups again and again, right? So you got to understand certain features in your directory to make your job easy. 
And that could be an interview question as well. Not a lot of people ask this question, by the way, but I think if you know it, that's good for your skills. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Now what I want you to do is this. Go back to your screen where you have machines. Stacy have a machine here, and the machine name is staff1w10. I want you to log in with Stacy's account. And the password is the same for what you use for this uh, lab. Okay. The password is the same. You're using the same password for all these lab. So, so I want you to- You want me to log out? Uh oh, so Stacy has her own machine. So go back, go back to the machines, go back to your lab. Mm -hmm. You already have okay. staff 1W10 on the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. So that's your machine. This is Stacy's machine. Log in to Stacy's machine. She just said today, Monday, she came in. Hello, guys. I am a new uh, employee in your company. My name is Stacy, and I want to log into my machine because you gave me that piece of paper, right? Or you somehow gave the password, right? And now she said in front of her laptop or desk or her office, and she's logging in right now. This is her first time. Go ahead and log in. As Stacy, because that's exactly what users do, right? And then this is exactly where you're going to get calls, tickets. So that's the part where you did your job. Now you're going to get tickets. So let's go ahead and log in. And we're going to log in as who? Stacy, right? Yeah. All right, so what's happening over here? So whoever has created the Active Directory profile for Stacy had some option where she's to change her password before signing in. Okay, so Stacy clicked on OK. Fine, no problem. That's a normal process. Go ahead and click on OK. Now, let's wait a second over here. Stacy's putting cat dog. Cat dog, my puppy name is puppy, whatever, right? And it's not working. Stacy call you right now and you're sitting on your help this machine right now because you're there, right? And she's saying, hey, what is the password length that I need to use to change this password? Because I'm trying cat, dog, whatever, it's not working. She, she understands the complexity. She already knows that this is a business. It's gonna be a hard password. How would you verify this? So we will go into Active Directory and I think it's group policy, but there's a password policy. And okay, now here's the thing. You are not a domain admin, and I don't want to give you access to my domain controller. Mm -hmm. Where would you go now? Where would you go first to, to give her an answer? You're sitting on your machine. You got a call. Hi, Abdul. I'm having an issue right now. And now you're stuck. You are out. Your knowledge, either you have the knowledge or you don't have the knowledge. So if you don't have the knowledge, you're going to say, I need help. So someone from the chat needs to help you out or someone from the from the group, because this, this is your IT team, right? They're gonna say, I need help. I'm gonna assign this ticket to somebody else. So go back to your machine now and figure it out because you gotta okay. give the answer to Stacy, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go back to my machine. And since I don't have a domain controller, I know I have RSAT tools, so. You have the RSAT tools right there because it's given to you. So what else do you need here? How would you verify that? Um, and, 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 and if you're totally lost, just ask for help. I will. So um, I think I have to open up administrative tools. Uh -huh. And in administrative tools. You don't have group policy. You can't add group policy. You don't have the rights to group policy. What would you do? Okay. So I'm going to, just, so computer management looks interesting to me. So I'm thinking maybe there might be something of value there. Just gonna open that to okay. see. So that's your that's your kind of like way of thinking, like how am I gonna troubleshoot? So that's good. You at least you're trying something, right? So you're trying some different things over here, but I can give you the answer. This is not the correct thing. All right. So I won't go down this rabbit hole. Somebody says Raldo say company policy. It's good to know about you're gonna probably walk up to someone. That's what I'm asking. He can ask somebody to ask for the policy, but I want you to technically know this stuff. If you don't know this technically, then uh, this is still your stuff. How long, how, I mean, do you want to know this stuff to make your job easy or do you always rely on somebody to, hey, help me out? So what should you do? You do have ability to find out. 
Mm-hmm. And then um, before I go, uh, local security policy looks interesting. So if this doesn't... Go ahead and give it a try. And I see account policies. And okay. I see password policy. Okay. And there, there we go. Okay, good job. Uh, what's the account policy over here? Lockout policy. Account lockout policy. Well, let's click on that. There we go. Okay. What's the second method? I don't know the second method. Can anybody else help me? Can I jump in? Yes, go ahead. Is it to run the CMD command net account? Which command? Net account. Okay, go ahead. T open it up. Show us. Show us the easy method. So net account. Space account. Sir. Space account. Yes. Okay. Does it say it there? Okay, if you're doing a command and when you do a mistake, what does this command tell you right there? Shows you the syntax. The syntax. So I think we have to say the name right after that, or the no, no. Look, look at what you type and look what they have in there. What are you missing? Oh, accounts with an S. Okay, so good. You figured it out. Did you find something? Okay. Yeah. How easy is that? Easier, way easier. Go ahead and change your password. Let's see what happens. Okay. So then I'm going back to Stacy's machine. Yep. Go ahead and change your password, log in. And uh, while you do that, I am going to do something. 